What is up, you geezer, blow tie geezers? It is Chris Marta Games here. Welcome to a very chill out kind of Overwatch video today. It's going to be a bit more relaxed. I'm just going to sit here and just look at some stats. I mean, if this is the kind of video that you want to see, then great. You're going to see a little bit more of it later on. But anyway, what I'm going to be doing in this video, I want to show you the number of hours that I've played for every hero. Now, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you my quick play stats. I'm not going to be showing anything competitive or anything like that because I don't play competitive anyway. I'm not really much of a comp player. I mean, if I was a comp player, then I'd have some really quality internet down here in this log cabin. Unfortunately, the internet is shit. I can't trust the internet because, for example, if I'm in a comp game and then suddenly my internet kicks out, you know, I've got the entirety of my team to speak for when it comes to coming back in. And then the entire team asked me, why the hell did you leave the game? So then I have to come out and say, my internet is a bit shit. So then I get uh, completely and utterly roasted. Anyway, so with that said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to literally show off some of the number of hours or minutes that I've played for every hero. I've been playing this game for a good two years now, about two and a half years now. And uh, I want to show you, you know, the number of hours that I've played for every hero and state the reason why they either have so very little hours or very, very much hours. So this is exactly what I'm going to be doing in this video. Uh, and let's get on with it. So we're going to start at the very, very bottom, the real bottom dwellers of my Overwatch playing experience. And uh, right at the bottom, you can see uh, the bottom right there is Farah. Now, let's just start with Farah. I'm going to work my way up the ladder um, as I'm talking about the hero. So Farah on 38 minutes. Uh, yeah, I'm not very good at Farah at all. I'm absolutely garbage. Um, I actually find it very difficult to play with Farah. I mean, the whole skill of controlling Farah is keeping her up in the air and using her fuel canister to keep you up in the air. And for me personally, I find it very difficult to, well, keep her up in the air as I'm shooting down the rockets. And, well, I either get shot down by a soldier or a Hanzo or a Widowmaker, and then I just immediately swap, swap heroes because I'm so bad with Farah. So, yeah, I'm not surprised that Farah's the bottom hero, the least played hero, and, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not very good with Farah at all. Doomfist. Now, again, I'm not good with Doomfist at all. Doomfist and myself do not mix. Doomfist and myself are like, you know, they, we just keep well away from each other. Although, I say that, I was actually playing a little bit of uh, No Limits with Doomfist. Just trying to do some basic things to try and keep myself alive. And, for the most part, it did work. But then I went to capture the flag, and then I just kept losing games after that, and I got frustrated. I, I don't know how to play Doomfist. Like, I literally have no idea. I, I, I'm not very good at uh, trying to counter him, and I'm not very good at controlling him. It's just a complete and utter... Just crap. It really is. I, I cannot play him. Wh whoever is good at playing Doomfist, I think he has a high skill cap. And those of you who are, are able to play Doomfist, then, you, you know, credit to you. But for me, I can't play him. So we've got Symmetra here on one hour. Um, the reason, well, not necessarily I'm not good with Symmetra. I'm very good with Symmetra. It's just, I just find her boring. I don't know why. I mean, yes, she did get a rework. Yeah, she's got a new massive shield as her ultimate. But I think, you know, compared to Symmetra, there are other heroes that I just prefer to play with at un certain, any certain time. And I just don't get a chance to play Symmetra very often. Yeah, Symmetra's down in the, in the bottom because... Not because I'm not very good with her, but because, you know, I just... I don't know, I just find her a boring hero. I don't know why. You know, if you have a, if you have a different opinion, you've got a different opinion. I just find Symmetra to be a boring hero. Uh, it's just my opinion, really. Genji. Now, Genji's down here at two hours... My, four, my fourth least hero that I play because he has a high skill cap and I don't play Genji very well. I mean, yes, I have been playing with him recently, but I just don't really find it very easy to play him. I mean, Genji has a high skill cap. I mean, his Dragon Blade is arguably one of the difficult ultimates to be able to pull off in game. You know, I see a lot of uh, professional players playing Genji and they're able to just completely kill people left, right and center with Genji's Dragon Blade. But when, with it, when it comes to me, I find it very, very hard to play him, especially with the whole deflect. You know, you just got to predict, you know, when somebody's going to shoot at you and, you know, it's you're just there using deflect and you're not deflecting anything and you're making yourself look like a complete idiot. And then when you have deflect on cooldown, everybody just sees this and then you just, and then I just die and it's just 
frustrating as hell. Wrecking Ball and Widowmaker on two hours. Now I'm going to be talking about Wrecking Ball and Widowmaker off the bat. Because Wrecking Ball, Wrecking Ball hasn't been in the game for a long, for a long time. He's only been on the game for about, let's say, two months. I've actually put in a lot of effort on Wrecking Ball. Despite the fact he's down at the bottom, Wrecking Ball gets me out of control maps. Believe it or not, I absolutely hate control maps. But when I use Wrecking Ball, Wrecking Ball is the go-to hero for me on control maps. Especially on Nepal and Oasis. Now... Nepal especially because what I like to do with Wrecking Ball on control maps is I like to swing, I like to swing up and then use the seismic slam to come down, use my shield, do a little bit of damage and then roll out. And then I keep doing that over and over and over again and it helps me out. It really does help me out. And well, especially when I use, uh, when you get kills with the minefield, it's really satisfying, really satisfying. So yes, Wrecking Ball is in fact down at the bottom, but he, he will go up. He will definitely go up. I guarantee it. Widowmaker, um, yes. I mean, yes, she's been down here for a while. I said right at the beginning of the series, of the Overwatch playthrough series, episode one, well, I, I said that she was my favorite hero. Well, times certainly have changed since then. She has not been my favorite hero. Uh, and well, Galacto keeps saying, oh yeah, well, you said that she was your favorite hero. No, she's not. She is a very, again, like Genji, she's a very high skill hero. Um, I cannot get headshots. And what I've been doing with Widowmaker recently is I've been going into custom games and playing a lot of Widowmaker custom games and practicing my headshots. And it's not as easy as it looks. I just get completely erased from games. And well, it's, I mean, yes, I kind of improved my Widow game, but it, you know, it's, it's, well, it's, it's, a, it's an uphill struggle, but I am getting there with Widowmaker, definitely. So Widowmaker, again, like Wrecking Ball, probably will go up the ladder. Bastion and Torbjorn, um, they're down here because, well, they're pretty much troll picks, aren't they? I don't I tend to keep away from the troll picks like Torbjorn. I mean, Torbjorn is going to get that rework very soon. So, you know, when that, when that rework becomes live on the servers, you know, I'll be able to use Torbjorn a lot more without being told Oh, get off Torbjorn because you're trolling. Yeah, I mean, I know that Torbjorn is a troll pick, but you know that I don't play comp, so I guess I can't really say that. But a lot of people can say that because, well, Tor they all know that Torbjorn is a to uh, troll pick. So Lucio. Now Lucio is a strange case with me because, well, I like to play him on Lucio Ball, and that's about it. I don't really play Lucio all that much because. Uh, I just don't know how to get in the right positions with Lucio and I tend to die relatively easy with him. I've practiced doing the wall ride a lot since when they updated the game in a way that Lucio was able to ride around walls without falling off. And I've been practicing that uh, and well, I still aren't very good with him, to be honest with you. I, I tend to die very quickly using Lucio and when I try and boop people off the map to get environmental kills, I look ridiculous because I can't do it and well I die before I can even get a chance to do it so yeah Lucio's down here because I don't really play him very often all right moving up the ladder guys we've got Sombra now Sombra we all know how much I hate Sombra as a hero to go up against I don't like playing Sombra she's a bitch and well she likes to creep up behind me and hack me and ruin my day especially when I'm playing as a tank when I'm playing Orisa or Diva. They're coming up a little bit later on in the video. But yes, Sombra. Believe it or not, I've actually been playing a lot of Sombra. Um, I Well, ever since she got that update where they removed that uh, 10 second restriction on her cloak. Nowadays, she has an unlimited cloak and you can go anywhere without being seen. And then you can just come up with absolutely nowhere and then just hack. To be honest with you, I've actually really enjoyed doing this myself. Um... You know, you know, if you can't beat them, join them. And yes, yeah, Sombra is definitely one of these heroes where I can just go around, go in Viz, put my translocator on a health pack and, you know, ruin somebody's day by hacking them and trying to kill them. Well, I can understand why she's so overpowered. Uh, I mean, you know, pff, I mean, if you can't beat them, join them, you know. Reaper. I can't play Reaper, despite the fact that he's been on four hours. I tend to play Reaper in more... Team deathmatch oriented matches. I don't play Reaper in quick play because, you know, positioning. I, I can't position myself well with Reaper. I just tend to play him mostly in team deathmatch oriented games or in elimination games or sometimes in capture the flag. But, you know, Reaper tends to stick to team deathmatch most of the time. I don't play Reaper very often. 
I've been playing a lot of Winston, actually. Uh, Winston is on four hours. Um, my shield game is a little bit off. Um, I tend to engage the wrong time with Winston. I tend to just jump in, put my shield down, and then I just get killed before I can do anything. I understand the whole mechanic with Winston. You go in, you go into a team, put your shield down, you try and do damage, and then you jump back out again to get healed by either a Zenyatta or a or a Mercy or a, a Moira if you've if you've got one on your team. But yeah, it's it's all about like Winston is very difficult to try and know when to engage at the right time. Um, and yeah, it's it's difficult with Winston for me. Anna, uh, like I don't know about Anna. Like Anna is. Anna is like a mixed bag. I get good games with Anna. I, I tend to heal pretty well with Anna. I get very good games where I heal very well. But most of the time, I just don't know what to do with Anna. She, I'm just like right at the back trying to heal my teammates. She got a, a buff recently where you only heal people if they need healing. If they're on full health, you don't really need to heal them. Um, that You can't really heal anybody that's on full health. But yeah, I, I tend to like st stay at the back with Anna and try and heal. But... I either get killed by a Winston or I get done by a, a, a Hanzo or a, a Soldier 76 who's in range and I just die and I just, I, it's all about positioning with Anna. I don't know where to position myself with Anna. Uh, Reinhardt. Reinhardt is one of the least played tank heroes. I mean, he, he's on six hours, but he really needs to be a little bit further down the bottom. I tend to, actually, actually, you know what? Having said that, right at the beginning of the game, I did not know a thing or two about how to play Reinhardt. All I did was just swing my hammer left, right, and center, and then just charge. And then once I charged on somebody, I just try and put my shield up to try and protect myself, and then somebody just comes around the back of me and just kills me, and that's it. That's my Reinhardt play in a nutshell. Nowadays, I tend to sort of keep myself with the team and try and put my shield up, and I don't charge as often, because if I charge, or if I try and charge or swing my hammer I just die and I know not to do that anymore so I've tried to like just put my shield up and protect my teammates because that's what Reinhardt is designed to do so that's why he's on six hours because you know at the very beginning when I didn't know how to use Reinhardt I didn't play him as much so I, I think he's one hero that will go up the ladder the more I use him so McCree is on six hours um yeah you know what I tend to hope and in vain that Reinhardt is on my team when I try and pick McCree. So that's the reason why I tend to pick McCree if there's a Reinhardt on my team. So I just sort of stick behind Reinhardt's shield and try and pick at shots. But again, McCree is a damage hero. He's a DPS. I don't really play very well with McCree. And I tend to die quite a lot when I'm McCree. So that's the reason why he's a little bit in mid-table. I like playing Mercy. I don't know what it is, but... The fact that she's on six hours does not uh, reflect, you know, the amount of times I've been playing Mercy recently. Um, Mercy's quite satisfying to try and heal people up. You know, I, I bought the pink Mercy skin for the BCRF, you know, just to try and try her out and, and play her a little bit more. That's the reason why I kind of wanted to play her more because, you know, I bought that pink skin. The more I've played her, the more enjoyable she's become. I think they've kind of nerfed her recently, though. She's kind of, like, reduced her heal output. You know, when she's trying to heal other people because they want to, because Blizzard want to add more uh, healers into the game, you know, in terms of meta picks and all of that. But, you know, Mercy is actually quite enjoyable. Right, we're moving up the table a little bit here. We're on Tracer now. She's on seven hours, and I don't know why she's on seven hours because I'm terrible with Tracer. I am absolutely poor. Um, I don't know how to pulse bomb. I don't know how to flank, and I sure as hell do not know how to prioritize my targets. I tend to prioritize my targets in the wrong way, and I just die instantly. I either try and do a pulse bomb and, well, every time I try and do a pulse bomb kill, I end up killing myself. Uh, <laughs> Tracer normally shows up in Mystery Heroes or sometimes Team Deathmatch. Not very often quick play. Um, well, I don't know why she's on seven hours though. I, I baffles me. But yeah, I'm not very good with Tracer. I need to improve my Tracer game. Right, Zenyatta. Okay, so right at the very beginning of my gaming experience on Overwatch. I played a lot of Zenyatta because I was... I, I found Zenyatta to be very enjoyable to play. Um, I liked throwing out my orbs around. I liked discording people and eliminating them. And over time, I've actually really improved my Zenyatta game. Well, especially when I've been watching a lot of Stylosa videos. I've I learned from Stylosa that I, I have to use his... Um, not so much his primary fire, but his secondary fire. You know when you hold down the, uh, the L1 
well, if it's on PC, it'll be right click. When I help, when I hold down L1, um, you know when he does that charge attack and he throws out all of his orbs in one go, I tend to sort of like throw that in choke points. It's very satisfying to get kills. So yeah, that's the reason why I tend to use a lot of Zenyatta is because it's very satisfying to get kills like when you're a support, you know? Um, I've learned a lot from watching professionals like Jonak and Bedozin and Shaz and Sleepy in the Overwatch League that use a lot of Zenyatta and they like to use the charge up. They, they, they use up the, the secondary fire to, to throw orbs down in the choke points. And it's very satisfying to get kills. And that's that's how I've kind of like learned my game through that. So yeah. Orisa on 10 hours. She should be a little bit further up the list actually. I don't know why she's on 10 hours. Orisa is my go-to tank if things go tits up. Anytime a game goes completely tits up on defense. I just whip out the Orisa. I throw my shield down to try and protect my team, and it works wonders. It works absolute wonders. I've, if you've been watching my Overwatch playthrough series, I've been using quite a lot of Orisa to get me out of situations. She is the perfect hero to help me get wins when things go ropey. All I need to do, put down my shield and just spam choke points. And that's it, you just do that. And you use you use your um, your halt, you use your, um, your bongo, the ultimate, when you put down the the supercharger and it charges everyone up and kills. I'll tell you what, amazing hero. I really enjoy using Orisa. She's on 10 hours. And uh, yeah, this is a shout out to Somerset Beastman, also known as Gamer Geek World, because Orisa is his favorite hero. Uh, and I'm willing to bet he's played Orisa more than any other hero anytime he's played Overwatch. So yeah, big shout out to the Beastman uh, and Orisa. So uh, yeah, she's on 10 hours. Hanzo is on 11 hours. Now Hanzo was a hero pick that I used quite a lot at the beginning. Uh, he was a very, very satisfying hero. I really enjoy getting headshots with Hanzo. I really do. He's he's a hero that I like to pick on, especially on um, when I'm on defense, when I'm using, uh, when I get on the high ground and shoot down and I, I find some stragglers down the bottom and I like to shoot them in the head. It's really, really satisfying. Uh, yeah, use a lot of Hanzo. I really do, do enjoy using Hanzo a lot. Junkrat. Very, very satisfying hero again. I like using Junkrat, uh, especially when I'm on defense. Um, I like to spam bombs um, in choke points. It's very, very satisfying to get kills. I like to throw my trap down and put a bomb. You know, you know, sometimes when you, you put a trap down and you put down um, uh, a, pr a what, was it, what do they call them? The concussion bomb. I think it's called a concussion bomb. I think it is. Yeah, he throws it out anyway. And you, you, you think you push a button and you explodes but anyway you put it in inside a trap and then when you trap them and you blow them up with a bomb it's so satisfying i've done that a few times and it's great i love junk rat he's one of my most played heroes uh he's on 12 hours and very very satisfying hero right right off the bat i'm going to talk about moira and brigitte in the same breath now brigitte and moira are both uh support heroes and well moira and brigitte are Recent heroes added to the game. Moira was added back in September and Brigitte was added to the game in February. So I've been playing a lot of Brigitte. Uh, I, I like using Brigitte. She's a very, I mean, not because she's Swedish, but uh, I mean, yeah, she's had so many bloody nerfs. I mean, yeah, she's overpowered. Yeah, you know, nobody likes Brigitte. Everyone wants Brigitte deleted from the game, but I like Brigitte. You know, I, I, I like Brigitte. She's, she's a lovely hero. Um, I, I enjoy using her. That's about it, really. I like shield bashing, especially when I like shield bash, throw your flail, and then whip them back. I love killing tracers, and I especially love killing sombras as well when I play Brigitte. And especially when you rally as well, and you give everybody, everybody armor. I, 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 I perfected that really, really well. Um, you know, despite all the nerfs. Yeah, I know, Brigitte's been nerfed ridiculous, but... <sighs> eh. And then let's go to Moira. Moira is my most played healer. Uh, yes, uh, I've picked up Moira pretty well. Um, yeah, Moira, my most played support. Uh, and well, I'm not really surprised, to be honest with you. It's very satisfying healing. It's very satisfying throwing at your, uh, I, I want to say Discord Orb, because, you know, I, I think it's called something something else, but, you know, let's just call it Discord Orb for the benefit of this video. She's a very, very satisfying hero to play. Like throwing out my orbs, killing Genjis, killing Sombras, killing pretty much anything that's in my way. And, you know, there was that one time in the Overwatch playthrough series when Zarya put that grab down and I threw a 
my coalescence in there to, to heal everybody. She's a very good hero. Very solid. She's in a very good place in Overwatch. Uh, just like everybody else in the game. Like every other healer in the game. Um, and yeah, but Moira just happens to be my most played hero. Soldier 76. Now, I don't know why he's up here at 20 hours. I don't know why. I think at the very beginning of the game, when, when you know, when, when, when the game was very new. Well, I think he's up here because, well, I was just playing him in very in very very bad ways and well he was my most played hero i don't know why maybe it's because of the fact that i was playing a lot of call of duty before overwatch and, and i kind of like said well you know i'm good with soldier let's just go in there and just go gung-ho but no nowadays um you know from seeing a lot of videos you know like understanding like how to really play soldier 76 i've upped my soldier game um in in many ways and ladies and gentlemen here we are with my top four main my main heroes my top heroes Okay, let's talk about Roadhog at 23 hours. This was at a time where Hog and I were good mates. Roadhog could flank, he could pull people in, he could kill somebody in one shot. Nowadays, you know, he got nerfed, he got an extra shot, he could fire quicker, but he had less damage. And, well, he had to stick with his team, didn't he? And, uh, well, nowadays, well, according to Stylosa, he is the worst tank in the game. Hopefully, though, Jeff Kaplan is going to buff Roadhog in ways that I want him to buff him. So hopefully, hopefully Roadhog's gonna get a good good buff and I'm gonna get to use him a lot more. But uh, Roadhog is at 23 hours because he's my mate. He's my man, Hog. Um, especially when I like to hook people in and kill them. It was great. But now, ever since loads and loads of updates, he's been nerfed consistently. Everybody around him has been buffed and they've been able to counter him, especially Reaper, you know, Reaper is always my worst nightmare when it comes to me playing Roadhog. And yeah. And now we talk about both D.Va and Zarya. They are both at positions 2 and 3. D.Va is on 38 hours. Zarya is on 31 hours. These two heroes are literally my go-to heroes. They are my go-to picks for any map. Well, with the exception of Control. I absolutely love playing these two heroes. They are both two exceptional heroes in the game. I love playing D.Va because I love to dive at squishies and kill them using both my, my missiles and the fusion cannons. Well, not fusion cannons. They called, um, let's just call them cannons. Whatever. They're called cannons. It doesn't really matter. But anyway, yeah, I just love playing D.Va. D.Va is just my main um, in competitive. Well, it, whenever I do play competitive anyway, D.Va is my main. Uh, as well as Zarya. Zarya as well, she's also my main as well. I'm a D.Va main, I'm a Zarya main, and well, I just love playing these two heroes. Zarya, I just love putting my shields up. I love shielding others, I love shielding myself. And it's interesting to note Zarya, because at the very beginning, when I first started playing Overwatch, I didn't know how to play Zarya at all. I was terrible playing Zarya. And you know what, if I'd have played a lot of Zarya at the very beginning. She'd be right up there at about 50 hours. I play so much Zarya and I just absolutely love playing her. She is so satisfying to play. You know, she's at a three-star difficulty, but for me, it's like a one-star difficulty. She is so good to play. I really enjoy playing her. And yeah, definitely a pick for me. May at 42 hours. Well, what can I say? I don't know, I just love playing Mei, I guess. <laughs> She's my favorite hero in the entire game. Everybody calls her Satan. I don't. I love playing Mei. I mean, 42 hours kind of like shows that, I guess. <laughs> I put ice walls up to block the enemy team. I can survive well playing Mei. And I can stall points playing May. So, I mean, you know, if you've been if you've been watching all of my videos since the very beginning, you'll know that May is my favorite hero. You know, I said it right at the beginning of the series, in episode two. I would take her out on a date. I would. And you know, 42 hours on May. What can I say? Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this. I know it's been a very, very long video. Um, but uh yeah, it's been pretty good, actually, looking through all of this and, uh, you know, seeing all of my hero hours, and it's been great. So, you know, it's going to be a strange video, this one. Um, I'm not really too sure how I'm going to edit this. Um, I'm probably going to edit out all of the, the terribleness of my 
my, my talking, and, uh, well, I'm not very good at talking, so anyway, um, uh, yeah, thank you very much for sharing all of this with me, if you enjoyed this video, then please like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at chrismon 9 check me out on my Google, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitch, and of course, my eBay store. Make sure you click on the notification bell if you want to be updated with any videos I intend to do in the future. Have a great day, have a great life, be nice to your fellow gamers, because we're all human beings. I've been Chris Monter Games. Until the next video, I shall see you later. Hey door. And peace.